there back there. Do you understand? Do not follow me back there. Are you autistic? You cannot follow simple directions. Do you have to call the police to explain them to you? To address the questions, she was an Airbnb guest and booked 28 days and made up some fake stuff saying she was allowed longer than 30 days so she can get squatters rights. And she pretended to be a tenant to the cops and they couldn't do anything. She's been squatting since. Bro, what? Oh, she's been squatting since the 1990s. And she knows what she's doing. She's gone to court tons and tons of times and has a track record of just wasting people's uh, police and court's time. Her plan was to stay here and to try to drag it out in court and just have a place to stay for a bit and to destroy. But we have something serious to talk about, and that's California squatters. Um, so this is about, okay, so this chick, this ugly ass lady, um, from what I know, moved into this guy's uh, unused portion of his property, and she refuses to leave because in California, I guess there's squatter rights. So what he ends up doing is just trying to make it, like, she just, he just annoys her. So here we go. This is part one. Let's see. She, she's been a problem that we're still going to expect to take her third time. I, 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 okay, I, great. So right now, I you need to reactivate it. I will crucify you. Yeah. Do you want me to take a girl and then go off? Don't be violent with me. Please don't be violent with me. Hey, I, this, oh, my feet! Oh, my feet! Oh, my feet! My feet! Where? 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 I'm autistic. Uh. Well, Alice, it seems we both got <laughs> autism, haven't we? Yeah. Yep. Well, that's good to know. So just from what we know so far, how the fuck is it possible that the government could make a law that allows somebody to just go, hey, you're not using this room. In I go. And it could just be anybody. Or you're not using your garage. Guess it's mine now. So Californians, is that the actual law? Basically. Basically, yeah. So let, let's see. Let's see what they have to say here. Holy shit. Oh, so he's a streamer. Okay. Uh, interesting. I'm autistic. Okay, enjoy. It'd be real nice to listen to some music right now. So he's playing real loud music to get her out. Are they smoking? Bro, he's smoking weed. <laughs> so he's basically just trying to annoy this squatter so much that she just leaves on her own. This 
assim, what the hell? <laughs> it's at zero now, it's still blaring. <laughs> Staged? Maybe. Maybe. I mean, it's, it's a kick streamer, so maybe. But th this has gotten a lot of attention. This has gotten a lot of attention. Let's see, if, let's see if there's anything in the description. Asian Andy deals with a squatter in his sister's house. To address the question... Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. To address the questions, she was an Airbnb guest and booked 28 days and made up some fake stuff saying she was allowed longer than 30 days so she can get squatter's rights. And she pretended to be a tenant to the cops and they couldn't do anything. She's been squatting since. Bro, what? Oh, she's been squatting since the 1990s and she knows what she's doing. She's gone to court tons and tons of times and has a track record of just wasting people's uh, police and court's time. Her plan was to stay here and to try to drag it out in court and just have a place to stay for a bit and to destroy. Huh. Yeah, so the cops do end up showing up. They show up, like I heard that the cops show up like four times a day, four or five times a day. This is, this is, this is fucking crazy. So once we get to the cop part, hey, I'm not even kidding. My freaking next door neighbor used to be my duty teacher. And the person that owned the house before that was literally his cousin that literally we were childhood friends with. And, you know, my brother would tutor math. I came pretty high. I smoked a blunt before this blunt. So I basically saw a third blunt. And I, have, I brought five more. I pre grounded like a fucking half an ounce of weed. Take five more? Is this real or fake? I gotta make sure. <laughs> This might be some of the greatest content I've ever done in my life. This could be legacy. Illegals in my yard? I love this 10 p.m. voice noise complaints. Yeah. We don't want to deal with the cops. I'll get out of here. Right? Look what she did in my sister's new house. The law I agree with. I mean, if the house is abandoned and people are homeless, might as well let them live in there if they can if they take care of it. Uh, I mean, yeah, you know, there's nothing really wrong with that. It's just that people abuse it. People abuse the technicalities, and then you get shit like this. So he's there trying to trying to just annoy her so much that she just leaves on her own. Yeah. 
Can you imagine a squatter talking shit like this? Does it have to be that loud? You're... Uh, I don't even know what to say there. This is a simple problem to deal with. Change the law they did in Florida and solve the squatter problem overnight. I mean, yeah, I mean, this this is apparently California. And so Cali people, tell me, tell me, uh, do you guys have any experience with this? Do you guys hear this in the news? What's going on? Airbnb market is part of what's making the house crisis worse. Mm hmm. Loud enough to cover up your screams. <laughs> Bro, this is this is the the exact type of person that is like the most obnoxious son of a bitch ever. I, I just I could not. I would pick her up from her bro. I mean, if she's wearing pants from her fucking pants and shirt and just toss her the fuck out. I would. Bro, tie her to a fucking truck. Take all of her shit out of the out of the room. Bro, hire four guys in ski masks. Have have them carry her out. Hire a moving company to move the shit from the room to the to the McDonald's parking lot. And then you can just lock her out and say, what are you talking about? And then it's her word against you. And then you have the title. You don't live here. You don't even have a key. I mean, I don't know. Uh, but, you know, content is content. I mean, th there is four videos uh, about this with the same lady. And then there's and then there's more people that have encountered her. So I don't know. So, team, Daddy needs a favor from you, okay? I need you to bark really loud for Daddy, okay? Before you get this. So, see, speak. So see, speak. Speak. Yes, good girl. Speak. 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 You doing great. Speak. Speak. <laughs> oh my god oh that's funny step outside I heard a guy that started a business getting rid of squatters what does he do what does he do about the technicalities Cause I'm telling you, man, bro, get four or five guys, let them in your house, pick the bitch up. I mean, you, you put ski masks on them, all right? Do this in the middle of the night. You pick that bitch up. You have another four people come in and throw all of her shit in a in the back of a truck and like a garbage bin, all right? You rent out one of those trucks. It's gonna cost a little bit of money, right? But you're going to have that bitch out of your hair. And then you just, bro, you just toss her and, and, and put her, put her in the Wendy's parking lot. That's technically kidnapping. Well, they're technically invading your privacy. Like th this isn't even like, bro, this isn't a, it was an Airbnb room, I guess. Right. Like they were just renting the room or whatever happened. And she just she she she's twisting the law. 
and like causing a problem for these people. I mean, to say the least. But kidnapping, I mean, maybe. You you let them go. It's like it's like catch and release. It's like you're fishing. It's not that bad. We'll make things worse for them, but the, the thing is, that's why you would do, I, I mean, this is me, this is me just, you know, throwing ideas against the wall here, but that's why you would get four guys in a ski mask, do it in the middle of the night. You know, he's asleep, plausible deniability. You could, you could shoot a person breaking and entering. That depends. That depends on, uh, on states that have stand your ground. Like Florida, it's not it's not always the case. And then and then like uh, like that's just one that's just one thing that people think. That's one thing people think we have, and it's not always the case. But like another thing, for example, is they think that if you run, you can you can shoot them in the back, and you can't <laughs> if they're running. The threat is over, right? But a lot of people get it get um they get a little Yahoo about it. You sit your ground? You can. That's your choice. I'm pro choice, Jimmy. I, I like that. You can choose to <laughs> depends on the state. In some states, if you have the opportunity to escape from intern and you don't try and shoot them, you still get in trouble. Yep. Yeah, if you have the the reasonable ability to escape the situation, if you can't, like for example, like the most cut and dry is if they have you against the corner, there's no doors, there's no window, you have no reasonable way to get away, then you shoot them. But I mean, that, that gets iffy too, because what if, you, what if you know you can't run faster than them? Can you get away? What if, you know, what if your leg is broken? What if, you're, what if you're a fat guy? You know, what if you know for a fact that you ain't running? <laughs> yeah. What if there is a, what's called a disparity of, of force? What if you're a, a, a very small woman, for example? And you get a, a like a huge fucking guy. What if your legs are tired? I mean, that is a legit thing that you could say, right? I, I couldn't run because my fucking legs are too tired. Because I already ran and I ran to that situation. I ran to that spot. So there's a lot of little things that you can say. Because I will. Do you want me so we got the cops here finally? Don't you dare lie. I'm don't you dare lie. Mary, I, don't know you. I will crucify you. Mary. Do you want me to take? I'll crucify. But for right now, you need to reactivate. So we, so we've pissed her off. All right, we're in that mode. So it can only get good from here, right? Bro, it's Bird Tuesday. You're making us look bad in front of the North Koreans. Let, let also the homeowner know that she needs to find a way to secure, whether it be with a keypad or with a, whether it be with a door lock or the key, actually. So I need two to, of them. She would need to secure the doorway. When do we get tacos? Uh, on Tuesday, bro. Have you been paying attention? Relax. Chill. Just for the moment, temporarily. So as soon as they can do that, we, we guys, you know, work out whatever civil matters. I cannot have. live like this. Do you understand? Whatever civil matters are between you. You can't live like this as a squatter. And her, you know, let's just go through the contract. Yeah, yeah. Finish it up. Definitely, definitely. And, you know, yeah. once she's ready to move, which will be pretty soon, you said within the next few days? No, well, not within the next few days. The thing is, that's how it started. I am told through the 21st. So right now, you explain to me why I was deactivated on the 18th. I don't know. And I need it. By the end of the day today, because if not, all of the locks are going to be drilled out by me. Every single lock, do you understand? So, yeah, if we you, at least... No, excuse me, sir. Do you understand, do you comprehend that every single lock will be taken off by me? And there's not a damn thing you can do about it. 
because the deputy sheriff, when we did the report, by the way, the deputy sheriff told me that I can remove every mark I want because I'm the only long term tenant here. They said they wouldn't stop me. They said it's not a crime for me to do it. It's not a crime. It's not a crime. Yeah, that's what they, they said. We are the I got to be real with you guys. I don't understand what the fuck is going on here. So she paid through the 21st. It's the 18th. The locks were engaged earlier. But like legally so so i mean if that's true cut and dry she leaves on the 21st and that's all there is to it but was all of that shit before because the the the, the comments remember remember the the comments said okay so book 28 days made up some fake stuff saying she was allowed longer than 30 days so she can get squatters rights so there you go. So she lied her way into the technicality of being in in like squatter technicality, right? The squatter law. And then boom, then she got squatter rights. Yep. So how is it that how is it that the police could not remove her based on the lie? I don't understand that. Like that's that that just seems such a like a such a simple investigation. <laughs> straight to jail. <laughs> Bro, we're gonna set her straight to jail on an AA gun. Yeah, it's a simple invest. You ask when, you know, you ask when she was supposed to leave. If she doesn't leave, good game. Get the fuck out. The cops say it's a civil matter rather than criminal. Um, well, no, no, because when you. OK, so that's a property that you own. Let's say if you own the property, you can trespass somebody, for example. And for them to be trespassed, you have to be served that trespass. So. Like when I trespass somebody. Uh, I was there face to face. I handed him a piece of paper or I told him verbally. Either way, either way it works. You, you tell them you are trespassed. You can't come back. If you come back, you're arrested. You're going to jail. Straight to jail. OK, straight to jail. But in this situation. I, I mean, maybe they were just maybe they were nice. Maybe they were just too nice for too long and it just. They didn't realize that it could elevate to to being squat, like to being a squatter. But like, how could how could that happen? I guess we have to find out where this where this is, like what city this is. And then maybe we can look up the statute. Pops love that. Bro, I love crack on my bitches. I watched a couple of videos that explain the legal problems involved, but it's been a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, California is just this big, like, ass backwards place, man. I, I was hoping to get some insight from uh, Cali bros, but like, Johan, are you still here? Like, have you ever heard this happening? Uh, Shatter is in Cali and R6 had to go. Um, and Johan is pretty much, pretty much like near like the gayest place possible, which is San Francisco. And then I think Shatter said he was in the San Francisco area. So you got, you got two guys that, you know, could fucking really tell us. Really let us know what's going on. Um, but if we can get the city, 
Unless they're just using a California statute, a state law. You see, like that right there. So, if he, if that's true, then there is no squatter right, right? Like, does that make sense? Like, usually a squatter right is if it's abandoned for so long, and then if you're living there for so long, then okay, you got it. You have the property. You can stay there. Uh, well, yeah, the squatter is fucking wrong. This is super obnoxious. I, I would not, I, bro, I wouldn't have the patience for this. I wouldn't have the patience. Yeah, because if, if he's there, if he's legally there, if he lives there, if he's registered to fucking live there, it's not abandoned. I don't understand. But, but again, California, fucking crazy. So she she will let people stay in certain rooms to fill out space. Okay. I'm just trying to live here. Can you limit? Because here's the problem with me. I don't have no pro problem. I have no problem with you and her. All right. The only problem I have is I just need my lock to work. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, the, this is okay. So the thing is, I need my lock to work. I don't want you taking the batteries out of my lock. Okay. What do you mean? You can't take batteries okay. out of my lock. I, I slept last night. I understand, I but this is my night. lock. This is my interest. You have your own interest. So the thing is, I feel unsafe. I feel unsafe if their door is not locked here. What do you mean? You, you don't want, okay. You're dealing this with, not with me, okay? I just need to live peacefully. Thank you. Okay, now I can get into my own house. You see where they fuck up, I guess if if you're gonna be running an Airbnb, I mean two weeks max. Two weeks max, get him the fuck out, right? Like renting out the place, I mean, especially if you live in California, renting out the place for nearly a month sounds dope because the money's gonna be good. But is it worth it? Fuck. I mean, there's no way. I don't know enough about this to even say, but if it, if the rule is 30 days, bro, I ain't letting nobody stay past two weeks. It's not worth it. In fact, I, I if it was a popular place to to rent out, you probably just give them a week. That way you have, you know. You know. Four, you know, at least four weeks. Maybe. Put a couple links in the Discord for you to about the subject. In Cali, okay. What do you mean? You're locking my door. What do you mean? You're locking my door. You are not letting me into my own house. Okay, we're both tenants, right? We both have rights. So where is my door? I'm not going to your room. I just need to get to my room. I need my door open. Or I'm going to call the cops. I need my door open or I'm going to call the cops. This shit's crazy. He's going... Bro, oh, no. Touch this. I need to get in now, please. Oh, no. I don't want any more situations like last night. Do you understand? Locking them out and shit? I don't know. I'm not involved in this. No, no, no. Okay. I'm just going to get into my room. Don't talk like that, please. No, no, no. Last please. night. I need to talk to you about last okay, night. Go ahead. We can't have any more incidents like that. What I'm... incident? Okay. What's the incident? I have it on video. Do you oh, sure. What, well, what's the incident? You're. I understand that you brought someone here who has special needs, and I have. <laughs> <laughs> That, okay, so that's the story. That's the streamer, right? 
So you bring it. <laughs> that's why she's being that's why she was being sort of nice to him because she actually thinks <laughs> or maybe he does. I don't know. But <laughs> you brought somebody you brought somebody here that has autism. Oh, my God. That's so fucking good. You'd be removing a bit. I I'm telling you, man, does it sound crazy now to, to hire four guys to come in in the middle of the fucking night? And, and you know but you don't know anything about it and you get that bitch out of the house and you grab all of her shit you change the locks and then what does she have she doesn't have any fucking paperwork she doesn't get mail there probably uh, hopefully not by by then uh you you get her the fuck out i don't know it doesn't sound that bad now Don't be violent with me. Don't be violent with me. Don't be violent with me. I'm scared of you, actually. Please don't be violent with me. Hey, I'm. Hey, yo, yo, that's my house. Yo, I'm the feet. I'm the feet. I'm the feet. My feet. What the fuck? You just. Oh my god, you sentry me. Oh my feet. Oh shit. The law here in Indiana is rude or insolent touch that is unwanted. That's battery. Like, we don't have assault here for some weird reason. Um, but that right there, that would count as battery. Root in a rude or insolent manner. Interesting. So, does she go to jail for that? I'm living here. Why did you force me out of my own place I'm living in? Why did you do that? Why, you hurt my foot. Why did you slam the door on my feet? I'm trying to get to my room. This is the only door access to my... Oh, so you're a walking battery charge? <laughs> L4. She'd be a bloody mess. I mean, if she attacked you, I mean, for lack of a better word, it, it's game on. Right? Like, this is crazy. Like, how is this even a thing? Is California really this fucking crazy? I mean, it has to be. Either that or this is completely fake. My room. You have your own door. Please do not okay. tamper with this door. Do not change the batteries of this door, please. I need to get in. I pay to live here, too. We are on the same team here. We're both tenants. So you deal with... Yeah, I'm scared to go back I'm sorry? Um, I don't know. Bro, she's such a good villain. So this was after. Because he, cause he, she says that there is an incident with your special needs guy that you brought in. So this is, so this was after. And here comes a cop. So let's see what's up. Code enforcement was out here earlier this Don't morning. Tell me what happened. So I live here now. I've been living here since like May 20th. Yeah. And it started out as an Airbnb mostly because I was in the other uh, place where I was supposed to be. She and seems like the type of pussy to have teeth. You know, <laughs> like that horror movie, what's it called? Labiator. Labiator. I'll be back, bitch. Oh, there you go. Cops already know who she is. You got evicted. Now you're here somehow. Okay, interesting. Oh my god. It's not a civil issue once there's like violence involved. You gotta fucking arrest her, bro. You gotta get her the fuck out of here. But maybe there's no one else around to even say that part, right? Maybe. We'll see. 
Oh, here you go. Okay, he's here. Ring camera, it's not going to show that you did it. Yeah, because he's saying that you did. Bro, when somebody starts lying, uh, nine times out of ten, their voice gets higher. So if you listen to her, she has she has a regular tone of voice, right? And you can hear it. Hey, why did you take the battery to the front door? You did it. Okay, where are they at? So you see how you can't, you can barely hear her here. And then he asked her, if I take the ring camera, it's not going to show you doing this. So if I check this ring camera, it's not going to show that you did it. Yeah. Because he said yeah. that you did. I did not. Okay. Are Little indicators. This ring camera? I mean, I'm sorry, to this door. But obviously we know that she's fucking lying. It's just, it's just one of those things. Where are they at now? I don't know. Okay. So how do you how do you plan on getting in then if that's the case? So the thing is I was asking you if I can change the lock so I can have a key to it because she has her own door. I can't access my room. She's her own door. Okay, but the thing is if you change this lock now she's not gonna have a key. So it's the same. Oh, but she she can get in from the back door. She has her own entrance. Okay. Own front. So her room has her own entrance. Okay, cool. She can get into her room. I just can't get the lock. Check this out. You have your own entrance, right? Yeah. Okay. He's gonna go to Home Depot. He's gonna get a new lock. He already informed the the owner of the house. And the owner said that that's fine that he can get a new lock. If you lock him out again, you're going to go to jail. I didn't lock him out. I th that, that's what she's saying. Okay? What about the owner locking him out? That is a civil issue. I don't know what to do with that. All I'm, say all I'm saying is that you can't lock him out because you're not the owner of the house. The owner of the house, if they want to lock you out, I don't know what to tell you about that. That's an issue to do with the court enforcement or with the civil issue. Bro, California is so fucking weird. It, they're still going on about the civil issue. I, I guess I guess uh, I'm stuck on several things that I don't really. I'm not piecing together because there seems to be like little bits of information that. That don't like, you know, put it completely together for me. It reminds me of a video I saw recently where a guy ran a sting operation on someone running an Internet scam. And when the Cali cops came, they let him go free when they found out he was an illegal immigrant because it was a sanctuary city. Oof. Absolutely. You better be pressing charges. And I put my foot in to stop her, and she kept slamming. I told her, my foot, my foot, and she kept slamming it. How many times did she slam it? Probably five times. Five times? Yeah. Do you need medical attention? Um, I'm gonna go to urgent care after this. But I, I want to report with you first, okay. and then change my lock so I can oh, do it. Go to urgent care. So, so you have medical yeah, bills. So I'm gonna go to that. urgent care after this. So All right. yeah, Where are around medical. Can I just talk about what are the things that I'm not a medical doctor? This now. fucking so bitch. This so fucking so bitch. Let me see. What's Take what's the what's sock what's off. Uh, I just don't want to get involved with her and the owner, but then she got me involved. Ma'am, listen, you need to stop in, uh, interrupting our investigation. Oh, if you want to report, that's fine. That's I'm going to put a camera in my window. I'll put a camera in my room, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm very careful. So you walked out of your room and came to the, to the, door. To the main door yeah. to what? And we to had a disagreement. It? I told her that she can't unlock me out. I don't care what's going on with you, the owner, but you can't lock me out because I ain't going to get my, my room. And then she pushed me out. Ma'am, check this out. The main if lock. you interrupt our investigation one more time, this is it. To walk around main lock. So everything is in the ring doorbell. So, so maybe the technicality is that this guy is a tenant. He's also a tenant. Uh, maybe renting. Well, no, it's been he said it's been like a year. But the technicality is that he's also a tenant. So there's no registered owner that lives there, right? It's a property rather than a, a home.
I'd still have to see the statute. Yeah, that's that's probably what's causing me the most confusion because I I don't know the fucking statute and I feel like I need to just look this up. Let's see. California squat like squatter law statute. Let's do statute. Straight to Yale? California's Squatter's Law Statute, also known as the Adverse Possession Law. Oh, and remember guys, this is an AI overview, so it might be sort of wrong. I don't know. Uh, has several requirements that must be met in order to claim ownership of a property. Continuous possession. The squatter... See, I need to see the statute. I need to see the statute. Squatters can gain legal ownership through adverse possession in California, which requires open, uh, which requires open continuous occup occupancy for five years and payment of property taxes. So what the fuck? Yeah, 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 L4. I was like, uh, I, I need to see the statute. This doesn't seem right. The 30-day rule does not grant squatters ownership rights, only potential tenancy rights. So she's exploiting a, a like a tenant, like a tenancy agreement. Because I know that here, for example, it, you can't be kicked out um, because you, you would need a notice of eviction and then you have 30 days to leave. So maybe they have something like that there, and that's what she was able to get by staying there for so long. But, I mean, it's, it's not been no five fucking years, right? Because it was just an Airbnb. I need the actual... F give, me the, give me the fucking... Give me the law, bro. Let's see. California law does not provide squatters with legal rights to a property simply based on a short term occupation like 30 days. This is June 28th, 2024. Property owners are encouraged to take immediate action to remove squatters legally. So why is it that they have this like parasitic? Why does this why does the law give them this parasitic right to do this? And even the law is like, like they had little, they had a little graphic that I, that I saw. Well, there's five ways to deter squatters. Avoid adverse possession. California squatter, like what the fuck? But I still can't find the statute. Squatter statute. Um, let's see a number. The penal code uh, deals with the act of squatting or unlawful lodging. Someone squats on on someone else's property where they live on the property without that person's permission. Squatting is considered a misdemeanor level offense in California. What the fuck is going on? These all can't be. Well, okay, it's illegal squatting. Okay. Prohibits unlawful lodging. This this is colloquially known as squatting. However, PC six forty seven also includes setting up. Setting up a temporary shelter like a tent on a property with, without the permission of the owner. So because she's in the actual building, it's fine. 
public intox. Bro, their penal code is so weird. Like, we actually have, like... Do you guys have code like this where you live? Indiana codes are different. They're... Hey, how old is this? Yeah, it doesn't really help. I mean, fuck it. Let's just finish the video. Wait a minute, you get so these so really these tenants' rights. Uh these are tenants' rights that squatters are exploiting. Yep. Yeah, that's what I was thinking earlier. I believe the laws have changed recently. Um it's something similar about requiring a notice of eviction. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like with here, they give you a notice of eviction, then it, then you have 30 days to get the fuck out, or you'll be removed forcibly. Um, so I imagine it's something similar to that here, but Cali style, right? So it's like gay. So when you came out, she came out of her bedroom, yes. walked straight yes. to the door. And yes, because I came to unlock the door because yeah. I need access to the door. Okay. Last night I called. You have a QR code, you can scan every phone, all right? Last night I called because he was in here making glass and so much okay. noise. So we're not, we're not counselors, man. We only have a criminal matter. So we don't have a noise. You don't have a noise ordinance? No, we don't. She, she's been a problem everywhere she goes. No. <laughs> She called because of the noise that he was he, he was making. And there is no noise ordinance. So that's kind of important. Usually noise ordinances are done by little towns. Um, at least around here. Then, uh, but also noise ordinances. I don't know if you guys like Jimmy may may have some insight, maybe sort of, but like bigger cities. They find it hard to enforce noise ordinances because if you took them to court, a, a good lawyer might say, well, you never specified the decibels. Yeah, so the, the way they word a noise ordinance is not usually it's not usually upheld in court because bro, all a lawyer has to do is say, Hey cop, did you measure the decibels? If so, what were they? Uh, what is an uncomfortable, what is an uncomfortable sound? How, what does that sound like? Like what, what are the def, what are the decibels? And I remember hearing that somebody got away with that with like blaring. I mean, we, we all know what an uncomfortable sound is, right? Or, or the, uh, the, the sound vol or the volume, right? Uh, so you would know, everybody would kind of know the reasonable person, right? The reasonable person test is what they usually call it. Um, but I heard that there was one that got away with it because their lawyer brought that point up. Is uh, they asked about, do you have a, a device that, that measures decibels? And it was just like, and and the cop was like not he didn't know how to respond to that so i mean they lost the case there's usually a way around an ordinance like you're saying i only remember reading two cases mhm mm yeah it's um it, i mean ordinances again they're they the, the worst that can happen, though, is you get a fine because ordinances are usually made or, you know, or put out or enacted by smaller towns. If, if a bigger town or bigger city has one. I mean, they're very tough to like it. 
people usually just go with them because they don't want to fight them because they know they were wrong. But if you tried to fight it and you had a good lawyer, your your good lawyer is going to get you out of it. And again, it's just like it's just a, an infraction. An infraction is just a fine. Usually. Where do we live every day? Bro, they put him in a... Oh, shit. Okay, so she broke his foot? There's maybe like hairline fractures? There it is. And and that's still not enough. What are you guys doing? Cal like California, what the fuck are you guys doing? This is why I wanted some Cali bros in here because I need to know what the fuck is going on. I mean, that's fucking battery, bro. That, that's actually aggravated battery. Straight to Yale. Well, we, well, I mean, I don't have, I'll tell you, I don't have experience charging assault because we don't have assault charges here. We have battery charges. Like you hear assault and battery. Well, we don't have assault charges. We have battery. And battery is, you know, the unwanted touch in a rude or insolent manner, right? And, and usually batter is, battery, bro, you could be battered by, by somebody putting a finger on you and flicking you or whatever. If you don't want it, it's, it's the intent by it, behind it, right? That's why they say rude or insolent. So, I mean, you broke his fucking foot. Unwanted touch, yeah. But you broke his fucking foot. That's not enough. What the fuck is California doing? Every day until, you know, they're out. You're 